Right now, we're off for a little outdoor restaurant in the forest of Compiègne, in the suburbs of Paris. Hello, to eat. Claudine? Claudine? Uh, waiter? Uh, yes, monsieur? Waiter, have you seen a, a beautiful woman? To a Frenchman, all women are beautiful. Except his wife. <laughs> Well, that's a fine thing to say, waiter, to a man who's about to get married. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I haven't seen your future wife. Well, of course you haven't. She's not the girl I'm meeting. Oh? Now, we want to eat here in the garden, just the two of us, the most romantic spot you have. You are planning a romantic rendezvous, monsieur, but not with your fiancé? Of course not. How dull. You don't seem to get the idea at all. You see, I'm going to be married in now the beginning of May, and so I'm still free to commune with a life that is single and gay. I'm free, but it's almost a sin. Already I ought to be true. I ought to sit down and begin. Behave as sedate husbands do. But not just yet. Just yet. Just yet. I've got about six weeks more. Then I must forget. Forget. Forget all the joys I have known. For Claudine must become a mere dream of the past, and I, the conventional hobby at last. But not just yet, just yet, just yet. I'm single for six weeks more. But not just yet. Here is a young lady coming down the path right now. Ah, a vision in pink. Claudine. Ah, Lucien, I'm sorry to be late. A young ladies should never be on time. Especially beautiful young ladies in pink. Oh, Lucien. Now you take the girl I'm about to marry. She's always on time. You never told me you were engaged. Oh, well, I was, but uh, she went away to uh, uh, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? Yes, that's in Canada. It's a river. How sweet. Well, now, really, Claudine, when a man's fiancé runs off to Saskatchewan, you can't expect him to go on acting as if he were still engaged. Now, can you? By the banks of the Seine, where the girl's so beautiful, it gives one pain to remain quite beautiful. And yet I swore by the stars above Throughout my life to reserve my love For a girl by the Saskatchewan For a girl by the Saskatchewan On the banks of the Seine There's love all waiting you To quell the pain that's exasperating you To skip with joy as you now Wire a quick little cool ta ta to the girl on the Saskatchewan, to the girl on the Saskatchewan. Oh, river, flow down to the sea. Right, see, bring my loved one home. Oh, 
untrue I'm trying hard to be There is another young lady coming down the path looking for you. My fiancé. Back from Saskatchewan? Oh, you, you've got to hide, Claudine. She's very jealous. So am I. Well, you can be jealous in, in back of the tree. Now, quick, hide, hide. Lucia? Well, Michelle, my darling, what a glorious surprise. I thought I might surprise you having a secret rendezvous with another woman. Michelle, I've been sitting here lonesome, longing for you. Then how does it happen the table is set for two? I was hungry. <laughs> a likely story. Where is the little hussy you've been dining with? Behind this tree, I suppose. No, 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 Hachelle. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, Mademoiselle uh, Saskatchewan. Oh. oh, did you hear what she called me? No, 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 please, please, ladies, listen to me. Listen, I assure you, Hachelle, my sweet, your future husband is not dining with an unmarried woman. Uh, allow me to present this lady in pink. Madame Don Didier. Huh? The wife of my dearest friend. You never told me you had a friend named Don Didier? Oh, yes, he's a wild man. Goes around kissing women that he's never even seen before. I don't believe a word you're saying. Where does this Don Didier live? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, 72 Rue de Depay. I'm going straight to that address and check up on your story. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I wouldn't do that. And why not? Oh, well, my husband's not at home. He's gone to see a doctor about his uh, lumbago. Lumbago? Yes. He has the lumbago? We think it's the cause of his trouble. You mean he goes around kissing every girl he meets because he has the lumbago? <laughs> Isn't it curious? <laughs> then I am going back to Paris to your friend's house. And if you aren't telling me the truth, ooh, I feel sorry for you. I didn't like the way she said that. Lucian, you're a dreadful liar. Well, I always thought I was rather good at it. Well, what will happen when she gets to that address and finds there's nobody there named Don Didier? Ah, but there is. I remember the sign. Don Didier, antiques. Do you know the man? I never saw him in my life. Well, what do we do? We'll get to Don Didier before my fiancé does. And we'll make him play along with us. Will he do it? Ah, if we buy enough antiques, he will. Will you come with me, Claudine? Of course I will. Come on, we've got to beat Angel back to Paris. What is it, Pumpkin? What are you doing? I'm dusting the snuff boxes, Pumpkin. <laughs> well, come up here and put on your best shirt. Madame la Comtesse will be here any moment. Now, she's the richest woman in Paris. And if you impress her properly, she'll buy out the whole shop. Uh, just a moment, Pumpkin. I see two customers coming. <coughs> uh, may I help you, monsieur? Are you monsieur Don Didier? Yes. Has a woman been here asking about your lumbago? Well, of course not. I don't have lumbago. <laughs> well, you've got it now. I do? Now, listen to me. I am Lucien Garadel, your best friend. Huh? And I am Claudine, your wife. Oh, my wife is upstairs. <laughs> well, you've got two of them now. You've been to the doctor this morning. Yes. You're a wild man. Faceless. You kiss every girl you meet. You are both out of your minds. Now get out of my shop. Go on, get out of Now, wait a minute. Uh, 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 how much is this snuff box? A thousand francs. I'll give you two thousand, if you'll do as we say. Well, uh, uh, what must I do? Good. When a woman walks in that door, kiss her. But I don't know how. <laughs> you 
don't know how to kiss. But well, you're married, aren't you? What's that got to do with it? <laughs> Don't you kiss your wife? What a revolting idea. <laughs> Claudine, we will demonstrate how to kiss. Now, Monsieur, on. Observe. One arm about the girl's shoulder, another about the waist. The head, thus. The lips. Oh, Lucien. I have kisses in plenty. But if you please, I give various kisses in different keys. One sweet kiss of the tender and cold that please I can give. Second act of the Pink Lady in just a minute. Now here is Act Two of the Lawrence and Lee version of the Pink Lady, starring Gordon MacRae as Lucien and his guest star Lucille Norman as Claudine, the Pink Lady. What do you suppose is happening in that antique shop? We couldn't very well stay and watch the show. Hardly. If my fiancé found us with Don DJ, she'd know it was a put-up job. If you don't mind my saying so, I think your fiancé is a prune. Well, I agree with you. Then why did you propose to her? Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I... But you don't love her. Love? Ugh. I hate love. How can you say such a thing? I love love. <laughs> That's a subterfuge For love is a cynical chap And for archery don't care a rap He's a roistering, ratchety, impious self And only considers himself Why, love is a perfect baby A beautiful Past, 
he was maybe But being a baby will cry And love became bored with childhood Grew tired of being divine And leaving the sweet-scented wildwood He came off to Paris to dine What's happening in the antique shop? Don't you wish we could hide in a snuff box and listen? You see, I, I've got a pink dress, I'm married to the lumbago, and I've got to kiss the doctor. Oh, no, that's not right. I, whew, that must be the woman now. All right, Don Didier, get ready to be naughty. How do you do? Are you Monsieur Don Didier? I am. A beautiful lady, did you ever have the lumbago? I beg your pardon. Uh, you think your future husband has lied about me? What? Yes, but it's all true. Yes, I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to make violent love to you. I'm going no. to... I'm going to... No! Let go of me! Let go of me! Let me go! Philippe! Yes, pumpkin? <laughs> what did you do to the contest? Uh, that was the context. Who else? I have just insulted the richest woman in Paris. I'll never do anybody a favor again. I'm looking for a Monsieur Don Didier. I don't have the lumbago. I haven't been to the doctor, and Lucien Garidel is no friend of mine. Oh, that proves that yes. you know him. He wasn't lying after all. Now, kiss me, and I'll know that everything he said was true. You kiss her and I'll bounce a snuff box off your head. <laughs> I'll kiss her if I please. Hmm. <laughs> Aha! My old friend Don DJ, up to your old tricks again, I see. We're just in time. You, 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 you Kissing you, my fiancé, why you should be ashamed of yourself. Lucy, and I'm sorry that I doubted you, and please forgive me, Madame Don Didier. She's not Madame Don Didier. I'm Madame Don Didier. If she says she's my wife, I'm going to kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> now, just one moment. Don I'm Didier. going to kiss everybody. <laughs> but why? Because I like it. You like it? I like it. <laughs> so do I. Half past two this afternoon, he was a moral man. Click, 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 life is a joy, pop goes the wine for man. At half past three, a bold buffoon started a deadly plan to wreck his life on the rocks of sin, to break the door of his scruples in and push him over the brink. Clink, clink, the brink with the glasses clink, clink, clink. And the worst of it is he likes it, he likes it, he likes it. His head goes round like a teetotum, his heart goes thump like a big bass drum, tip, tip with a zip, tip, tip with a zip, come and make things hum. The worst of it is he likes it, he likes it, he likes it. The worst of it is he likes it, he likes it, yes he does. And the worst of it is he likes it, he likes it. He likes it. A cyclone came and it whirled him round. He lost his feet and he left the ground. Dip, dip, with a dip, 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 with a dip. To the side he's found. And the worst of it is he likes it. Like he likes it. Like he likes it. Like And the worst of it is he likes it. Like he likes it. Yes, he does. Now will you believe me, Angel? I love you and only you. The pink lady doesn't mean a thing to me. Oh, thank you, Lucian. Huh? I love you, too. But, but, but I, I was talking to Angel. I know. But I also know that you're the worst liar in the world. So if you say you love her, you must be madly in love with me. Well, then I'll tell you the truth, pink lady. You're as smart as you are, beautiful. I glide, beautiful lady, on light.
Well, we'll be back in just one moment. And meanwhile, our thanks to Hans Conried, who played Papa Don Didier, Lee Benadera, who played Madame Don Didier, Betty Lou Gerson, who played Angel, Eleanor Audley, who was the Comtesse, and to our entire company. The Pink Lady with book and lyrics by C.M.S. McClellan and music by Ivan Carroll was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at the same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? This year, all America turns its eyes to the Midwest and the centennial celebrations that mark the founding of the Nebraska-Kansas Territories and the city of Omaha. Omaha's centennial celebration is attracting particular attention by its festive year-long program of special events, parades, pageants, and exhibits. And America's railroads take particular pleasure in saluting these centennials. For not only is Omaha today one of the country's vital rail centers, but the Nebraska-Kansas territories were actually established with the idea of making possible the transcontinental railroad system that forged the missing link between east and west, populated the land, and made the dream of a United States come true. Thank you, Marvin. And now here again is our delightful guest, Lucille Norman. Thank you, Gordon. I have only one thing to say about tonight's show. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I wonder how the orchestra felt. We liked it. Crazy. <laughs> well, it seems to be unanimous. Well, what's on the show train next week? Well, Lucy, you and me and some beautiful music. Listen. The sky was blue and high above. The moon was new. The new moon. Mm -hmm. Real springtime music by Romberg and Hammerstein. And a delightful operetta. I'll be here, Gordon. Good night. Good night, Lucy. See you next week. All aboard! Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night and the new moon, on behalf of the other members of the cast and of the American Railroads, this is your friend Gordon McRae saying good night. <laughs> The Pink Lady was presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Our choir was under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music was prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying good night for the American Railroad and reminding you a stronger National Guard means a stronger America. Young men and veterans are urged to go to their nearest National Guard unit now and find out the many advantages to themselves and to their country of joining the National Guard. Now, stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. The preceding was transcribed. Keep tuned for the...